Well, as you see in the video here, starting today, bars, but nightclubs in Tijuana are reopening after being closed for a year because of COVID. As News 8's David Gottfriedson reports, San Diego tourists visiting TJ noticed differences between the two cities. The hygienic restrictions are a lot more strict, but the economic restrictions are a lot more lax here. The restaurants in Tijuana have been open for some time, offering both indoor and outdoor dining with COVID restrictions in place. Miriam Asadian from Pacific Beach notices people seem to be more cautious about COVID in Tijuana. In order to enter a business in Tijuana, you have to get your temperature checked, you have to sanitize your hands and you have to take a lot of hygienic precautions and here on the street everybody's wearing masks. On Monday bars and nightclubs in Tijuana were allowed to reopen at 50 percent capacity. The drinking age is 18 in Mexico which has attracted American tourists here for decades. I just make sure I bring my mask and follow the rules. Anthony Amoroso lives in San Diego and crosses the border into TJ about once a month. In San Diego, more stuff is closed. Uh, more of the restaurants only outside. You can only be outside. Some here you can be inside. You get a little bit more to do here than on the other side. It's difficult to compare COVID positivity rates in Tijuana versus San Diego because testing protocols are different in the two border cities. But visitors say they are taking precautions. I'm still keeping my distance. Plus, I, you know, I'm always trying to be by myself most of the time. I think I still keep my distance uh, as far as being with a lot of people because you never know who's sick. In Tijuana, business owners do not get government assistance during the pandemic like they do here. So the reopening of bars and nightclubs after a year of being closed is good news. Here on Revolution Ave, there's so many restaurants. You can go to Rosarito, you can go down to Puerto Nuevo, you can go to the Valle if you want to go wine tasting. So yeah, there's a lot of opportunities for Americans to come down, um, have a good time. Tijuana has been lowered into what they call the yellow light tier, meaning restaurants can operate at 75% capacity now. And as we mentioned, the bars can operate at 50% capacity. Steve? And David, that's definitely some good news for the businesses in Tijuana. But before San Diegans head over there, what kind of travel restrictions are there to get across the border? Those travel restrictions technically are still in place. Uh, U.S. citizens are not supposed to walk or drive into Mexico for non-essential purposes and tourism is considered non-essential. But I can tell you there were lots of tourists down there when that video was shot. And um, on your way back, you should not have a problem coming back into the United States because U.S. Customs officers will not stop U.S. citizens from returning to the United States. All right, David, interesting the way the two different countries are handling the situation, but hopefully all this will be behind us soon enough. Thank you.